he pleased surrounds money that he moved, apparently from Trump's accounts to a mm -hmm. woman who alleged sexual contact with Trump. That's a very common scenario among famous people. As you know, we've seen a lot of that in the last year, people paying off women who say they had sexual sure. contact with the affluent person. Is that illegal? How is that a crime? Well, itself, it's not a crime. And if the president had paid it directly, it wouldn't be a crime. The allegation here is that it was Cohen who paid it and made a campaign contribution, which he didn't report, at the direction of the president. And, of course, some stations are already playing the funeral music for uh, President Trump. But this is much more complicated and much more uh, nuanced. First of all, the crime itself is very, very vague. They tried to uh, put Edwards, the former presidential candidate, on trial, and of course, they got an acquittal. But second, it really require, uh, depends completely on the credibility of Cohn. And remember, as Judge Ellis said, uh, when they squeeze people like Manafort or Cohen, uh, they squeeze them not only to sing, but sometimes to compose. And it's very easy to embellish a story. Let's assume hypothetically it's true that he did pay the money and it was designed to help the impact of the election. That wouldn't involve the president. All he has to do then is say, and the president directed me to do it. That's the kind of embellishment that people put on a story when they want to avoid dying in prison. When the prosecutor says to them, you have two choices, you'll die in prison or you can give me a story that I can use to go and get the president. I'm not suggesting that happened here. But the risk of that happening is what Judge Ellis talked about in, in the Manafort case. And we may see that uh, at work here. So we're a long way from, uh, you know, tolling the bells for this administration. It's a but bad still, day. I, I, it's a negative day, it's but, a not, day, but for not, sure. not a fatal one. Yeah. But I'm still a little bit confused. But so if somebody comes one. to you and says... If somebody says to you, and you're running for office, and the person says, give me money or I will humiliate right. you in public, and you do give that person money or instruct your lawyer to give that person money, that's a campaign donation? Not if you make it yourself. But if somebody else pays the money in order to influence the outcome of the election, it is technically, perhaps, a violation of the election laws. That's what they try to get Edwards on. It didn't huh. work. They got an acquittal and hung jury, and they never tried him again. But, you know, again, violation of election laws yeah. are regarded as kind of jaywalking in the realm of things about elections. Uh, and there are so many of them. Every administration violates the election laws. Every candidate violates the election right. laws when they run for president. Oh, Usually they pay a fine, something like that happens. Here they're trying to elevate this into an impeachable offense or a felony against the president. Right. Look, they may name the president as an unindicted co-conspirator. They did that with Nixon. Even back then, right. I complained about that because naming somebody as an unindicted co-conspirator is very unfair because he has no opportunity to defend himself or herself. And yet that may happen. So this is the beginning of a okay. story that will unravel over time, but it's not nearly as deadly lethal as some have portrayed it as being. It's certainly confusing as a matter of law. But, Professor, thank you for, for explaining that.